Hey guys, welcome back to Review Radar. In this video tutorial, I will explain to you how to set up a Verizon Wi Fi extender. So, the first thing, of course, is going to be unboxing the extender itself. You need to place it halfway between your Verizon router and the area with weak Wi Fi signal. Ensure it's within range of your main router. After that, let's look at the screenshot over here. So, the first step. And the actual pairing is going to be plugging, plugging in the Wi-Fi extender into a powered outlet next to the Verizon Internet Gateway and wait for a solid yellow light. So as you can see, we have our charging brick that connects to our router and to the power outlet. You can see it on the screenshot right over here. Now the second step is going to be pressing and holding the unified button also known as pair button on the Wi-Fi extender for three seconds. So this is the button. Then the pair button on the Verizon Internet Gateway within two minutes. Both devices blink blue while pairing. If there's a error during the pairing process, the status LED slowly flashes red for two minutes after the error occurs. Once a solid white or blinking yellow light appears on the extender, it means that it's paired. So it's going to be right over here. All right, so the third step is going to be unplugging the Wi-Fi extender from the power outlet, moving it between the internet gateway and the weak Wi-Fi coverage area, just like I said previously, then plug it into our power outlet. If you see a fast blinking yellow light, move the extender further away from the internet gateway. If you see a slow blinking yellow light, move the extender closer to the internet gateway. Once the LED indicator turns solid white, your setup is now complete. So this is going to be a guide on how to set it up wirelessly. We also have a wired connection as well. So let's go through the steps. So connect the Wi-Fi extender to the router via the Ethernet cable. So it's going to be a cable method. Then plug in the extender into a power outlet. The procedure is going to be very similar to the wireless method. And then after that, do basically the same steps as you did wirelessly and you'll be good to go. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If this helped, leave a comment. If it did, subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this, and I'll see you in the next one.